Hello, I'm Zardis, and you may recognize me from my many Let's Plays on my channel, both modded and unmodded. Today I'm excited to be collaborating with Paradox Interactive to bring you a tutorial with some tips about using the map's terrain in a realistic manner. The first thing to understand about how to use your map's terrain to build a realistic city is the concept of contour lines. A contour line connects points on a map that are the same height. In City Skylines, you can see the map's contour lines by clicking on the Overlays panel and then selecting Terrain. With this overlay applied, you can clearly see the map's contour lines. You can even see the contour lines when building roads by first selecting the type of road you plan to use and then selecting the overlay. Using contour lines, we can spot the major hills and mountains on the map. Roads will almost always take the path of least resistance through hills and mountains, as it is much more economical to do so. For a realistic look, your larger or older roads should be planned in a way that connects your city to the external region with as little elevation change as possible. Use the contour lines as you build your roads, and then you should have a more realistic look. Water plays a huge role in a city's development not only with regard to a water supply for the population, but also as a barrier for development. Historically, building a bridge was very expensive, so cities tended to develop on one side of the river or another. As such, rivers and roads have an interesting relationship that should be explored in city skylines. Roads commonly follow the path of a river and lead to a single bridge, with the bridge located in a spot where its construction was easy. When building very large roads, such as highways and major avenues, you can consider cutting into the terrain in order to make the roads take a more direct route to their destination. You can easily cut into the terrain using the landscaping tools. The level terrain tool is useful if you are cutting straight through a hill. Right click on the height you want the land to be, then left click where you want to level. The slope tool is useful if you still want to have some slope for the land. Right click on terrain which is the height you want to end at, then click and drag with the left mouse button to build the slope. The last tip I have for you regarding realistic use of terrain in your city building is to make sure that your railroad tracks are at realistic heights. Trains are extremely heavy, so it is very important that you keep any slopes for the traps at a minimum. This means using all of the tips we've talked about today for how you build your rail lines. Use the contour lines on the map to determine a logical route with minimal height changes, use bridges where it would make economic sense to do so, and cut into terrain to keep the slope easy for the train. Thanks for watching! If you liked the video, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to this channel for more tutorial videos.